Today in this video, we are going to be doing this pink makeup look. She's cute. I still haven't shaved my beard. Um, she's wearable. She's wearable glam because I haven't been doing that many um, wearable looks lately. I thought to do baby pink. Uh, baby pink lips, baby pink cheeks, baby pink eyes, and it's so, so cute, and I love it. Before I show you the video, I hope you guys are all okay. Hope you all are good, and if you aren't, then I want you to know that everything's gonna be fine. Like, things get rough in it. Things get rough, and honestly, like, recently, um, things haven't been going that great lately in my personal life, and I think... You know, things might not be fine now, but they will be. So, like, just keep that in mind. Just trying to keep positive, you know what I mean? And everything will be fine. Even though right now, it may not seem so. I don't know, that's hella cringe for some of y'all, but it's actually so true, I think. And always try to smile because there's always something, even the tiniest little thing to smile about. Because if you think about it, you're watching this video right now. Still, even if you've got problems, you've got family and friends and you've got a roof under your head hopefully and you can eat um so that's it i love you and <laughs> enjoy the rest of the video that's oh and subscribe because um i'd love it if you subscribe so guys i actually want to do my face first today in this video so i've already moisturized i'm gonna use the ps primal water this is so so cheap guys and let's try her out Smells so good. It smells a bit like. It smells a bit floral, but it's actually nice. So let's spray a lot of that so that your face is wet. Um, I'm gonna be using my Invisiwear EX1 foundation in F300. This is so good for anyone with a yellow skin tone. It's just like. It's just yellow. I've been breaking out hello recently, guys, and it's. I'm not happy about it. I'm not happy. I'm gonna be using my black. Primer PS Pro Blending Sponge and to compare to the Beauty Blender This is the real original Beauty Blender and this is the Primark one I'd say the Beauty Blender is a lot softer These are both wet by the way so these is, this is how they expand And then to compare it to Real Techniques ones this is the little version when it's dry And Real Techniques and Beauty Blender are still better but if you can't afford it Then just get a two pound one from Primark and it's quite good Blends out super nice, you know. And this foundation just is sick in general, to be honest. I don't know, it just matches my skin so well, look at it. I think this one matches my skin the most out of any foundation that I've got. And look, it doesn't suck up too much product at all. That's pretty good, to be honest. I rate that, I rate that, it's pretty good, it's pretty good. Okay, after that I'm gonna be using my Tarte Shape Tip Concealer in Medium. This is sick, guys. Since I've had this concealer, I've had really really good experience. It's such a nice concealer. Let me tell y'all. Let me tell y'all. It's really good. I'm still keeping the beard. It is limiting me a little bit with the looks that I can do because I can't. I feel a bit weird wearing my wigs with the beard. I mean, I have done editorial looks with that because I did one before. Um, but I don't know. It's still a little bit weird. Now this, yeah, this is the real technique sponge. I showed it in a haul, and this is the first time I'm using it. So let's see how she do. This is it expanded as well. So this is the little version. You see it? It expanded quite a bit. She's so soft. Ooh, she's really nice. Out of all of the mini sponges that I've tried, this one. I think I prefer the shape the most because I've got the Beauty Blender one and I've got the PS one and they've got the Beauty Blender shape but just in a mini version but I think they're a bit small, I think this is pretty big and hefty um, but it, I think it's a perfect size, especially for my face, I don't know about yours but it's a perfect size for my face, definitely 
Do you like the aesthetic today? It's hella baby pink, isn't it? It's just baby pink on baby pink on baby pink. And then the makeup's gonna be baby pink. It's gonna be an abundance of baby pink. Flawless! That's cute. I like it. I like it a lot. So guys, I'm gonna be using my Ben Night Banana Powder and just set the face. You see that? You see that cut? <sighs> nose is a little bit itchy. What the heck? My nose is so itchy. Once you got makeup on, you can't really itch. It's so annoying. With a big tulip brush from Sigma, I'm just going to apply the powder and blend the rest of the baking powder through. What I'm going to do is basically, yeah, blend the baking powder outwards so that it sets the rest of the face. Does that make sense? So I'm gonna disperse that where we contour, where we apply our blush, so that when we apply those products, it kind of like applies seamlessly rather than patchy because applying that on foundation that hasn't been set, then it might go a little bit blotchy. That's what I've noticed. I think in some videos, like my contour is like not on fleek because of that. But that's okay, I mean, we learn, don't we? Right, what I'm gonna do is use my Barry Am Flawless Chisel Cheeks Contour Kit in light to medium, and this is. This is one of my favourites. This is one of my favourites, honestly. Um, it's hella beat, look at it. And contour. Mm. I love this product so much, honestly. It's good, it's a good one. They also have a dark shade, which is extremely dark. So if you're dark skin, if you're black, then you should go buy that, because it's really good. I'm just gonna use the tiniest little bit to contour down my nose. So guys, I've done one eye pretty much. So today I'm gonna be using this palette right here. It's the Makeup Revolution I Love Makeup Pink Fizz Eyeshadow Palette. It comes with 16 eyeshadows. Look at this. Cute. See? I do like Makeup Revolution. But... I don't know if y'all saw from my reaction with um, Kat Von D dupe video. I don't know. I mean, I don't know what happened with that one, but this one I like. So, anyway guys, I'm first going to be using my Max Off Doco Paint Pot just to prime the lids. This is just standard, you know guys. This is like, I do this with all my videos. I got this because in the kit tutorials, I can't lie. I also got the Nivea shade, shade Balm because of Nikki Tutorials. I've been a Nikki fan for absolutely years since she had 70,000 subscribers, which is kind of mad. But she's been doing videos for years now. I remember when her lighting was grey. <laughs> That's how long I've been watching her. Um, anyways, I'm first going to be going in with this pale shade from the Pink Fizz palette. And I'm just going to, you know, do the standard, set the primer, set the paint pot. There we go. And then, actually, we're going to be using the an, another baby pink palette. Actually, I'm going to be using the Modern Renaissance Anastasia palette. I'm going to be using Buon Fresco right here. It's like um, a mauve toned pink. And I'm using the same brush to just dig that into the crease and blend upwards. Okay. You see this? And how it blends so easily. It's it's sick. It's so good. And then I'm going to be using Red Ochre from the Anastasia palette with a flat brush. And I'm going to pack that onto the outer corner. And wing it out. This is going to be the guide for the wing. And then just blend that out. We don't want this to be harsh at all. I'm not creating a smoky eye that is cut creasy. I'm just making a smoky, smoky eye. You see that? Okay, so the star of the show is this Makeup Revolution Also Metals Eyeshadow in Magnificent Copper. It's absolutely amazing. I'm just gonna dip my finger in that. This is basically like, you know those eyeshadows that just look so amazingly foiled and so metallic? This is one of those eyeshadows and it just looks wet on the lid. I'm just gonna pack that on using my ring finger. You want to really get a lot of that in there. Do you live or do you live? Because I live. When it shines on the light, it looks so good. It just looks amazing. 
and then I'm applying that into the inner corner as well and I'm gonna use the Pink Fizz palette again and use this pinky shade it's a little bit lighter than the Magnificent Copper to be honest uh, that's why I'm gonna use it into the inner corner to have that baby pink glow I'm just gonna dip in back to Buon Fresco and apply that to the lower I'm not gonna apply the red because I think that'll be too much for this soft pink look. And then I'm gonna be using my Rimmel Nude Liner into the waterline. Now, for the liner, I'm gonna be using my Inglot Gel Liner in 77. I love this so much that I have got two of these. <laughs> this is like my favorite gel liner, and if I'm not using this, then I'm gonna be using my NYC one. And I'm actually creating a super thin wing today. I'm going to be using the Bourjois Volumizer, it's got pink packaging on it, so it's cute. Apply a ton of mascara before you apply your lashes. The lashes that I'm going to use are the Backstage Beauty Rodeo Dry Off Lashes. Oh my days, I've still not even blended this nose contour out, let me blend this out first. For blusher, I'm going to be using my NARS Angelica Blush, um, it's a baby pink with little shimmers on it. So I'm going to smile and just apply that right onto the center so that it looks super cute and then I'm going to be using my Backstage Beauty Baby Pink Contour Blush brush and I'm going to be using my Makeup Geek Chrome Highlighter and this is the Duo Chrome Highlighter in Psychedelic she's white but she shines pink does that make sense? and when she glows, she glows golden pink it's a cute glow, it's not too much. So after that, I'm just going to be just settling down all the powders again with my primer water. So now that you're like a little bit wet. This is a fine mist, you know, guys. The spray is really good. Lip. You'll be surprised today. Right, let me just spray a little bit more. Um, yeah, don't taste it. Um, use Mac. I'm gonna be. I'm gonna be using Mac lip liner in Will. You know, I've been so into liquid lipsticks lately that I forget that I've got normal lipsticks and lip glosses and lip liners. By the way, this isn't snot. This is just a primer water on my nose. So now that we've got that, I'm going to be using my MAC Lipstick and Snob. And then I'm going to go over the top with my Barium Lip Gloss in this baby pink colour. So guys, this is the final look. This is such a cute baby pink look. It's actually quite wearable. Out of the colours that I've been doing lately, this is quite wearable. Um, I love the baby pink aesthetic. I mean, sometimes I do go round, um, like new look and Primark and everything, and I think, wow, that's a lot of baby pink. But I still really like, I still really like the trend. Um, I think it's a trend that I want to... Um, keep kind of for a long time because I just really like the color baby pink. This look is cute and I hope that you create it and if you do then tag me on Instagram because I like all your photos if you recreate them. Guys, you know, this is like just standard, you know, subscribe to me, ring my bell, um, talk to me on social media and I love you and bye.